of the war in Afghanistan, and the Obama administration continues to ponder a new direction. President Obama hosted some 18 top lawmakers at the White House yesterday, and his national security team will hold its second long strategy meeting today. As the president ponders the next step for the U.S. in Afghanistan, the Senate has approved a bill to fund the war. The measure brings to a total U.S. price tag for the Afghanistan war to about $300 billion. Back on Main Street, a new poll finds support for the war in Afghanistan declining. Only 40% of those surveyed in the APGFK poll support the war, down from a month ago. The poll also suggests Obama's approval numbers are up to 56%, and that's up from 50% in September. Aid workers from at least 20 countries are converging on an earthquake-ravaged region of Indonesia. The effort includes a large contingent of U.S. military, including two U.S. Navy ships and a U.S. aid flight with 50 tons of emergency relief. Governor Mark Sanford's lawyers say House lawmakers have no business knowing the details of the State Ethics Commission's findings about the governor's travel. Sanford's lawyers took their case before the state Supreme Court yesterday. A New York State pro- promotional products company is moving to South Carolina. Officials at the Jetline Company say the relocation will bring nearly 250 jobs to Cherokee County over the next five years. In sports, 12 innings later, the Minnesota Twins are the new American League Central champions. What a game. The team wrapped up its late-season comeback with an extra innings win over Detroit, 6-5. to five. The Twins take on the Yankees tonight for the AL Division Series that will be at the Bronx tonight. And the National League playoffs get underway today with St. Louis at Los Angeles and Colorado in Philadelphia. So how do you think it's going to make the World Series? I think it's going to probably... Who do, you want, who do you want to be in the World Series? I would like to see uh, Philadelphia mm-hmm. and uh, uh, probably the Yankees. Mm-hmm. You seem very passionate about it. Well, the Braves aren't playing, so, you know. I, I wanted Detroit you to just win. want to I watch wanted, a ball game. I wanted Detroit to win that game yesterday. I wouldn't mind seeing Colorado and the Yankees. Oh, I, I that, think that'd be a good That, good that might be it. I doubt Colorado's going to get it done. but He just won't give in to you on that Colorado thing, will mm-hmm. he? Well, hey, they, they're farther than my Braves are. I will admit that. I think it could probably end up being the Dodgers and the Yankees. That'd be a good series. That'd be if I was a betting man, I'd take that bet. I think that would be the, the I think be, that'll be the World Series. I would like to see Colorado in the Yankees. That'd draw some good attention. Joe Torre uh heading back into Yankee Stadium. That would, I think, yeah. I think that'd be a good T V series. Mm-hmm. Uh the only problem is those games are on the left coast. Yeah. We wouldn't see half of them because yeah. they wouldn't start till ten o'clock That's at night. No, you they for prime time they would have afternoon games at Dodger Stadium. You think? Yeah, so that they could start at eight o'clock Eastern. Absolutely. Well, I hope it doesn't work out that way. We won't have to worry about it. <laughs> Why? I love day baseball games. Oh, 704. That's right. you back in your office back there. <laughs> um, you've got the couch and the refrigerator back. Looks like Keith Summy's office in there. That's, that's... Now, weasel time saver traffic.